If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. First, it's free and everyone loves free. Second, there are creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer, which makes it very convenient. Third, Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. Finally, you can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. Anchor is everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So take a moment to download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Voting isn't just going to the polls on election day anymore. Options like early voting, mail-in voting, and ballot drop boxes are available to more voters and are growing in popularity. How to Vote, a tool created by Democracy Works, breaks down the options your state offers for casting a ballot, empowering you to decide when and where to vote. How to Vote is easy to use and helps people from all over the country overcome many of the voting process barriers. A few examples voters can take using the How to Vote voter tool are signing up for election reminders, seeing what's on your ballot, getting step-by-step assistance requesting your mail ballot, exploring your options for returning your voted mail ballot, checking your voter registration status, finding your polling site, making sure you have the appropriate ID. Today, decide when and where You'll vote this year by visiting howto.vote. Again, that's howto.vote. Hi, my name is Tanisha Nicole, and I love sitting with authors and discussing the backstory behind their books. I created Beyond the Bookshelf because I love having conversations with authors. After working with a few high-profile authors, I discovered that the backstory behind their books were just as powerful as the book itself. So I had an idea for a show and I decided to call it Beyond the Bookshelf because sometimes when you see a book on the shelf, you look at the cover, you look at the title, but you don't always understand the story behind that book. So thank you for joining me on this journey with a few authors and a couple of backstories. I hope you enjoy. And if you love this show, please rate, review, and subscribe so you get brand new episodes delivered to you every Saturday morning. Hey guys, so today I had an opportunity to sit with Kimberly Carter Spivey and we had such a good conversation. We talked about her book, Bloom, How to Get from Good Enough to a Life You Love. And it was such a great conversation. Uh, We talked about a whole lot of different things pertaining to the book and Kimberly specifically and me specifically. And the episode is a natural conversation between two authors. And we discuss the backstory behind Kimberly's book. And I also share a little bit of the backstory um, about the writing process that I went through for um, her imprint and the release of her imprint, which is my book. We had a, a great conversation and the show is incredible. And I hope you guys enjoy. Hey, Kimberly, thank you so much for joining me on a new episode of Beyond the Bookshelf today. I am so happy that you agreed to come on my show. Thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So guys, I did a cold uh, Facebook message to Kimberly, and I'm going to tell you, I didn't, I hadn't even told her this. So when I saw that she had this new book out, I thought it was pretty cool. I decided to go ahead and purchase the Kindle edition so I could get it quickly. And then I started reading the first couple of chapters and I reached out to her. I don't know Kimberly personally. I've never met her before. And I just went on a wing and a prayer that by that the direct message that I sent her was going to resonate with her. And she wouldn't think that I was just some random person that says that they have a podcast and, hey, will you be on here? I don't know if you're real or not. Um, and so she, luckily she responded to the to the message and we were able to set this up. And I'm so glad that it worked itself out because I was really nervous about it. That's the first time, Kimberly, that I've ever like done a cold uh, direct message to somebody that I don't know. So I'm glad that it went as well as it did. Me too. It absolutely worked out perfectly. Okay, so Kim has a new book. It is new, right? When was it released? It was released on September 1st. 
Okay, perfect. So Kim has a new book and she is going to talk to you a little bit the, about the title of the book and we're going to dive into the backstory. All right. So um, the title of my book is Bloom, How to Get from Good Enough to a Life You Love. And so it's basically a book that I wrote specifically for women. Um, and I wanted to share some of the things that I've been through in my life. And I wanted to provide other women with the tactics and tools and resources of the things that I've used to kind of overcome certain things. Um, sometimes we get so consumed with fear and avoiding to step outside of our comfort zone. And in order to reach the goals in our lives that we want to achieve, it's just not amenable. That is something that we absolutely just have to do. And so, um, you know, with that being said, even and even though it's a book for women, um, it, it's really for anyone. Um, my husband, he has read it for cover to cover and he has also resonated with it as being a, a man. But I, I did, again, want to relate to women. And I felt like uh, that was a good way to do it by putting my my experiences through a book uh, to reach and help and empower and inspire other women. Perfect. How long did it take you to write the book? Uh, well, it took about three years. So really? Yes, it did. So, and, and here's the thing, I've always dreamed of becoming an author. It was something that I felt God was speaking to me about for years to write a book. Um, I've always uh, loved to write. And so with that being said, within a three year time, actually before the three years, I was kind of preparing things mentally in my head. And and sometimes I might have wrote, you know, written down notes and different things like that. But the entire process, I would say uh, from three years of actually, you know, writing the book, at least for the first two years and uh, the, the later part of the last year, definitely going through the editing process and the self-publishing process. And the only reason why I ask that is because when I um, I resonated a lot with this book for uh, for my for personal for personal and professional reasons, uh -huh. and it spoke really uh, it really spoke to me, and all the chapters spoke to me in a way that I could definitely um, literally relate to because mm -hmm. I've gone through a lot of this a lot of similar things that you have, and. Um, when I looked at the story, sometimes I always ask authors, how long did it actually take you? Because sometimes the book comes to somebody like in waves or in different pieces and parts. And then sometimes it comes in like a, a just just like a digital download where it's like God speaks to you. You start writing and before you know it, you have a whole book. And when you said that it took about three years, I can definitely see that because, you know, life happens and things go on and, you know, things change and stuff like that. And what I wanted to ask you is your book has seven different chapters, right? That's right. Okay. And how did you come up with the title of the chapter? Like, how did you know what you wanted to specifically talk about in those different sections of the book? Um, well, specifically the title, because I just basically reflected on my own life. And so as the years pass, you know, sometimes we're at a place in our life where we kind of feel like, you know, we're confused and maybe we're lost a little bit and we don't have a clear pathway uh, ahead. But as years pass, past, I was able to find ways to actually catapult myself to the next level. And when I reflected back on my life, the first thing came to mind, the word growth. And so I kind of felt like that really applied to me. And then from the word growth, that's how I came up with the title Bloom, because I felt that I had bloomed through certain stages uh, of my own life. And then how to get from good enough to life you love. I reflected on myself and I talk about this. A chapter in my book is, you know, um, self-evaluation. So I basically self-evaluated. And sometimes there were periods in my life where I felt like I was just settling. And sometimes I felt like, okay, I was just settling for being mediocre. But eventually I got tired of being stuck in a rut and stuck in that type of mindset. Um, so I wanted to grow and bloom into a place that I actually loved in my life. So now at this stage in my life, I feel like that I, I'm, I'm in that season of where I not only have just a life that's just okay and mediocre, 